Hey, Joe here. In today's video, I'm going to try to fit some Mitsubishi Expo spindles on my Mitsubishi Eclipse. The Mitsubishi Eclipse spindles are not going to fit well with my new 13 by 11 inch wheels uh, for XFWD. I spoke to my buddy Aaron Anderson. You should check out his YouTube channel, CSM TV. He's part of the Colt Mirage uh, community. And I know that they've tried some different spindles and such uh, in order to squeeze the 4G63 into that platform and things like that. Uh, he recommended the Mitsubishi Expo spindles. So I got me a set and I'm gonna see if I can make them fit. Here's the Mitsubishi Expo steering knuckles that I am going to try to use. It's kind of hard to tell, probably without seeing them in person, but uh, this arm that the tie rod end attaches to is designed very differently from the DSM spindle. Um, I assume it's because this vehicle is uh, set up with smaller wheels, so that could be the right direction for me. But I have to press these four lug hubs out and press my DSS five lug hubs in. So I better get started. I think I can pull the seal out one-handed. The answer is no. I'm telling you, I need the, uh, the head cam mount. There's the seal right there. Pried it out with this thing. It went flying up in the air, landed in there. It was in there pretty good. The circlip is next. And I got that one, these circlip pliers. I've had like for 30 years, the case is like, I gotta show you the case. Locks have broke off cause they're so brittle. And like, if you squeeze the box, it just comes apart. This thing is old, Harbor Freight. Got that one too. Now, I wasn't videoing cause uh, this job can be frustrating to do, but you can see how I have this set up in the press. I used this socket in there against the this piece here and uh came right out pretty easy actually once i got this stuff all lined up like this so uh that race came out usually does uh, i just gotta press uh one of my five lug dss hubs out of my eclipse spindles and press it into this expo spindle and then i can test fit it and see if this is gonna work it's really hard to tell in photos but um if you look straight down at the original spindle right there, you can see that this arm is quite a bit up from center. So, you know, the higher you go up here, the wheel curves around like this. So the higher you go up, the less room you have. Down here is better. So if you look at this one, it's almost, it's basically centered, yeah. So there's a little bit more room there. Also, I mean, maybe it's my eyes, but this one looks shorter than this one which would be ideal. So I just got to press this out, press it into here and I can test fit it. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry Everything's the same We'll try tonight But this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound What if I'm not good for you? What if you're not good for me?
As I was stripping this uh, DSM spindle down, I noticed right here that this has been ground down a little bit. And I didn't do that. You, I mentioned earlier that this was all powder coated because sometimes I'm crazy with stuff like that. But anyway, um, I wondered if that had to do with the brakes. And uh, if I take this out and get my fingers caught in it, I can feel it hitting something. And if I take this thing off of here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I get a little mark right there. So I'm gonna have to grind that down as well. That still needs some work there. You can see the line. Back at it. All right, that should be enough. Let's grab this thing and test it. hit now okay good sign I was able to get these two lug nuts all the way tight which I wasn't able to before and this actually still actually it moves I only have to clearance it for the bolts here plenty of meat to clearance that there and uh, I'm not even sure that probably needs a slight trim, but it's on a bolt right there and it's not hitting it. So I think this is an improvement, a minor improvement, but it's going to make this job easier. This is going to help me fit these wheels on my car. I'm going to reuse these beat up old seals. I already put this one in. Matching the clearancing on my strut here. Actually looks like I have a little bit more work to do on the far end there. But uh, hoping that this is going to work. I hate to do this kind of thing, but I'm getting desperate here to make these wheels fit. Better try anything. All this clearancing here is just to get the brake rotor on. That's working. Well, that wheel's on there. I used some uh, old washers from my old lug nuts behind the wheel here. I put it on the wheel studs before I put the wheel on because I'm thinking I'm still gonna need like a three millimeter spacer. So those things are two or three millimeters. I'm actually gonna measure them in a second to make sure, but um, it's on there and it turns. Something's interfering. I'm pretty sure it's the back of the rotor uh, right by the ball joint there because that's not as frequent of a knock, knock, knock as I would get from those bolt heads on the rear bead lock. I'm pretty sure that that's the rotor. So I can clearance back there a little bit more I can measure those washers and uh, this doesn't look too terrible. Let's see what it looks like in line with the fender. All right. I mean, it definitely sticks out. I knew it would, but I've done all this work to tuck it under there as far as I can. So I may have to talk to Sergio over at Carbonetics about getting some wider fenders because I think that's as good as it's going to get. But it looks like I can make this wheel work. And that's been a big hang up for me. So let me do a little bit more clearancing under there and uh, try one more time.
it's all back together ready to break out the grinder I've done my clearancing for my brake rotor right there and also for that bead lock on the inner still got to use a spacer there but that's as far as I uh, feel comfortable with on that I may even add a third bolt right here man does it feel good to have these things finally installed uh, you can see I've shown it already but the clearancing done here uh, the only thing I'm waiting on here is to put the brakes on and then the spacer on and then the tie rod and which I ordered a spherical rod end style one that should fit on there I got that side done and I got that side done clearanced ready to go I'm gonna end this video right here but I'm gonna call it to be continued so keep an eye out for another video continuing the process of what I'm doing here, getting this car ready to start. In the meantime, if you haven't, go ahead and check out AaronGregoryRacing.com. Aaron's got a lot of parts on there available, a lot of services he offers, and he's offering a 7% off discount code if you use the code JoeWrenches. Uh, it should be like here somewhere, so in case you can't spell it or something, I don't know. Joe Wrenches, you get 7% off most items on his website. So uh, check that out. Get some cool parts, save some money. Put cheese on it. <laughs>